What's happening? This is Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot bringing you another LED Grow Light review. This time I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Cresser Lighting Panther X LED Grow Light. Overall, I was quite impressed with the par readings of this fixture. So before I show you these, let me tell you a little bit about it. The Panther X measures 30.5 by 20.3 by 5.5 inches and it weighs 26 and a half pounds. There are four 150 watt LED strips with lenses that extend throughout the unit. Each strip is backed by a passively cooled aluminum heat sink. Two Meanwell HLG 320H 48A drivers power the fixture. The drivers and part of the heat sinks are encased in a white housing. Each driver contains dimming leads if you choose to hook up potentiometers to them. Each lead is capable of dimming two strips, so half the fixture. The Panther X has a wide form factor which allows the light to spread out fairly evenly over its footprint compared to many other LED grow lights on the market. The unit contains a hardwired 120 volt 3 prong power cord. The Panther X is ETL, CE certified, IP40, and it comes with a 5 year manufacturer's warranty. It is designed to replace a 1000 watt HID grow light for indoor or greenhouse grows. Each LED strip contains four rows of Cree white diodes, with one strip containing some red Osram diodes. The diodes are covered with lenses which help to direct the light down in a 90 degree pattern. Each strip is bordered by reflectors which also helps to concentrate the light in about a 90 degree pattern. The lifespan of the diodes is rated at 54,000 hours until they reach 70% of their original intensity. The par efficacy of the unit is reported at 2.1 micromoles per joule with the lenses off, and expect about 2.0 micromoles per joule with the lenses installed. The PPF is reported at 1,302 micromoles per second. So the efficacy and light output were tested by an independent laboratory. The Panther X is rated for 110 volt to 277 volt AC power. The fixture draws about 620 watts at the wall and 5.6 amps at 120 volts and around 2.8 amps at 240 volts at full intensity. The footprint for this light is a 4 foot by 4 foot area. The hanging distance varies depending on the growth phase and intensity that you want to deliver to your plants. Based off the PAR readings, I would not hang this light closer than 24 inches to your plants, otherwise you might risk burning them. 36 inches from the plants is recommended if you want to deliver a more even footprint and slightly lower intensity. Expect up to an 8x8 area for veg while using this fixture. The Panther X is a full spectrum white light fixture with enhanced red. Based off the spectrum, these appear to be about 3500K white light diodes. The red diodes have their peak at around 640 nanometers. The spectrum will grow your plants from seed to flower, and since there is enhanced red in the spectrum, it'll do quite well during the flowering stage. I tested the PPFD of this fixture in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent. Again, keep in mind that the reflective nature of this tent could increase PAR readings everywhere, especially in the corners and edges. Let's see those PAR readings now. The first reading is going to be at 36 inches. Right at 36 inches, we're getting 800 PPFD in the center of the light. I'm just moving the PAR meter back to the end of the tent, and it still looks like we're uh, pretty high, so around 565 micromoles per meter squared per second, and then in the corner, just below 500. So really good readings for this light in this 4x4 tent at 36 inches. 36 inches is the furthest away that I would put this light from the plants for flowering. Now you can raise it up to 48 inches if you want to veg with this light, or the closest veg height I would put this light at is around this height of 36 inches. And the second reading is at 24 inches, and right in the middle we're getting 1250 PPFD. And this is a reason why I wouldn't go closer than 2 feet above uh, the plants because you're going to start burning your plants if you're not careful. On the edge just about 615 ppfd and in the corner just below 500. So uniformity is a little bit less but getting some higher numbers in the middle. And moving to this other edge almost 800 ppfd so between 24 and 36 inches is where i would set this light uh, for flowering and here are the par readings from cresser for reference and comparison 
The MSRP on the Panther X is currently 999 US dollars, the light ship from California, USA. In summary, I think the Panther X is a good LED grow light for a small 4x4 tent, larger home grow, or commercial grow. The Spectrum is ideal for flower, but will work great for veg as well. It's priced competitively, considering the high light output and 5-year warranty. The meanwhile drivers and Cree and Osram diodes make this a high quality fixture. And the dimming pigtails are a plus two, which helps you save energy during veg. If you want to learn more or purchase the Cresser Lighting Panther X LED Grow Light, view the link in the description. Give this video a like and comment to let us know what you think about this fixture. And as always, if you want more content like this, subscribe here. Happy growing everyone.